Hi, we're going to be looking at chemical reactions and combustions. The problem statement we have is propane at 25 degrees C and one atmosphere is burned with 400% theoretical air at 25 degrees C and one atmosphere. The reaction takes place adiabatically and all the propane leaves at 1 atm and 942 kelvin. The temperature of the surroundings is 25 degrees C. They want us to compute the entropy change and the irreversibility. Propane is C3H8. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our stoichiometric reaction. So we have C3H8 plus some X amount of O2 plus 3.76 N2. This is going to give us some alpha amount of H2O plus some beta amount of CO2 plus X times 3.76 N2. We know that alpha is going to be equal to 8 divided by 2, so alpha is equal to 4, and our beta is equal to 3, and then we get that x is equal to 2 times beta plus alpha divided by 2, and this gives us 5. So our stoichiometric reaction is C3 H8 plus 5, O2 plus 3.76, N2 is going to give us 4 H2O plus 3 CO2 plus 18.8 N2. If this is occurring with 400% excess air, our reaction changes to C3H8 plus 20 O2 plus 3.76 N2. This is going to give us 4 H2O plus 3 CO2 plus 15 O2 plus 75.2 N2. Now we're looking at the entropy change. We can say that our change in entropy is equal to sum for all of our products times the number of moles of that specific product times the entropy for the temperature of the product minus the sum for all of our reactants, the number of moles of that specific reactants times the entropy for the temperature of our reactants. We said that the temperature of our products was 942 Kelvin and the temperature of our reactants was 25 degrees C or 298 Kelvin. Now if we draw out our little table we have C3H8, O2, N2, H2O, and uh, CO2. Then we have the entropy at 298, the entropy at 942, the number of moles in our reactants, the number of moles in our products. So the entropy for this one is 274.45, read from our table. We don't need it here. We have one in our reactants, none in our products. For O2, it's 205.053 at 298. At 942, it's 241.47. We have 20 in our reactants and 15 in our products. For N2, we have 75.2 for both here. And then this is 191.502 and 226.19. For H2O, we have none at 298 Kelvin. It's 230.22. And for CO2, it's 266.04. This is all read from your tables. We have none in our reactants. We have four water 
in our products and three CO2 in our reactants. So we get that our change in entropy is going to be equal to 22,351 minus 18,782. This gives us 3,569 kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin. We can write that our irreversibility is equal to the temperature of our reactants times the entropy for the sum of our products minus the entropy for the sum of our reactants. So we get that this is equal to 298 Kelvin times 3,569. And this gives us 1,063,000 and 62 kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin.